Hey everybody, Lex DeVille back for another lesson in advanced Upwork proposal writing. This one we're going to talk about the sections of your proposal. So what sections are you going to have? There's several of them that you need to know about and we're going to actually break down all of these down below in other videos. But this one's just kind of a high level overview, a bird's eye view of what sections you should actually have in your proposal if you want to make it freaking awesome. So first things man, I don't know why I'm getting all off track today. This doesn't have to be a long video. Let's just go through these real quick. So the first thing that you might have, and this is a, uh, this section does not have to be in every proposal, but it will be in some. So number one is going to be your headline. You might have a headline at the top that is designed to get the client's attention. They click your proposal and they see this one single line at the top that gives them a reason to continue reading. That's section one headline. But that could be section zero because you may not have a headline. Not everybody's going to use those. Some people will. So that's section zero. Section one is your greeting. That's going to be the hi there. Hey there. Hello there. How are you there? Or something there. Or hi, Mark. Hi, John. Hi, Sally. Something like that. That's your greeting. That's section one. Section two is going to be your first paragraph. And your first paragraph is going to be your you focus paragraph. That's section two. So headline, greeting, first paragraph, which is you focused, second paragraph, which it can be more me focused, but really it's just about showing the client how you can help them, how you are an authority or asking them questions that they will want to respond to. So that's section three. So headline, greeting, paragraph one, paragraph two, and then you've got paragraph three. So three paragraphs. The third paragraph is your closing statement and that's gonna lead into your call to action. So that's that's your next section. And then uh, you've got your signature, your signature down at the bottom, which is gonna be where you're closing things out. You're saying kind regards, Lex DeVille, uh, I don't know, sincerely, John Smith, whatever else you might say there, chat soon, Neo from the matrix, you know, something that you're going to put down in your signature, but that's going to be another section. And then your final section, and this last one you may or may not have is going to be your PS statement. And the PS statement is just some, a little bit of information at the end, telling the client some last final thing. It could be adding some little bit of last value. It could be stating your rates. It could be a whole bunch of different things, but those are the sections of a good proposal headline, which is zero. You've got your greeting, that's one. You've got your intro paragraph, that's two. Your second paragraph, the one that's more me focused, that's three. You've got your closing paragraph, closing statement, that's gonna be four. Number five is going to be your signature and number six is gonna be your PS statement if you have one. That's the sections of a pretty solid Upwork proposal template. Um, that's gonna get you, if you write it with a you focus, if you focus on showing them how you're an authority and how you can help them, that kind of proposal is going to get you a lot more responses from clients. So that's all I've got for this lesson. Pretty short one, pretty simple. But like I said, we're going to break down each of these sections in another video below to give you a little bit more detailed look at these so you can start writing them on your own and getting better responses. That's all I got and I'll see you in the next lesson.